All right, fam. Today we're gonna do some chatterbait fishing in the fall. Micro chatterbait, one sixteenth ounce. Okay, this is gonna be great for them crappies. Maybe you get some bass. Hopefully, I don't get cut off by pickerels. But I am gonna be throwing on a ultralight bait caster. This is the Aldebaran BFS XG from Shimano. Okay, BFS bait finesse system. For those who don't know, ultralight bait caster. That's that's all it really means. All right, let's put this on and uh, take a thumbnail. Let's go. Chatterbait sinks a lot slower with the blade, so you guys gotta get it down before it start retrieving. But this vibration flash should get a few, few fish. I'm guaranteeing it. I'm gonna turn around here, because I know there's a nice school around here somewhere. I don't wanna get snagged, so I'm not running my chatterbait as low as my swim jig. But sometimes you gotta go low. Man, you see all these fish down here? They're down there. Just gotta let all to the bottom. So I'm gonna sing it to the bottom first. Show sure it take a few seconds. Yeah, I don't know about this micro chatter bait, man. It's not sinking fast enough. Especially with these leaves here. Whoa, I found a whole school right here. There's, yeah, there's a thick school right here. Oh, got one. Oh yeah. Around. See that thick school right there? All right, I'm gonna keep on top of them. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Off he goes. Got one. Oh yeah. Another slap. Micro chatterbait. Oh, he has a line in the bottom of his chin. You see that? But he doesn't have one on top, so it's like not that exact well, magnolia crappy. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Got out of fish, guys. I was having difficulties with my GoPro. This GoPro Hero 9 keeps me stopping and go on loop mode, but man, this is it. It's got a slab crappy. Oh man, I foul hooked them. But look, outside here, it's deeper waters, a lot of fish all in front of me. But I'm still casting the shallow, like a, it's a bimbo. But look, that's, that's like a school, like a mega school, like out in the open. All right, so this chowder bait is not doing too well. I think the problem with the chowder bait is it's just not doing well in these deeper waters because it needs to sink faster, but it's not sinking faster. Like if you retrieve it, it's pretty much, pretty much um, rising with you. So if I need to, I can put on the eighth ounce version. Check this out, guys. We going through these stuff right here. Is that the main channel or something? Remind me of the game Pilot Wings. I don't know if you guys played that game before, but you basically fly an airplane and you gotta land it. Fun game. So guys, Dan is slaying it with a underspin grub tail and this chatterbait is not doing it. Maybe it's just not sinking as fast as a, you know, a lure because that's how it is, right? And I put the bigger one, it's still not getting fish. So let's swap something. Hey, look at him, he is killing it. I know a perfect lord that will catch me some slabs just like that. Look at that. All right, get back into work. Get back to work. All right, 16 South jig head swim bait. This is the Epic Bait Molds. Their little two inch slick swim bait. Slick swim swim bait. You see all these fish out here? Dan is killing it. I have canceled the video of 
<laughs> the chatterbait. I mean, I'll still call it the chatterbait so you guys can know that it's not that effective, uh, especially in deeper water. I mean, I'm fishing five to six feet of water and uh, these crappies are going in and uh, back and out like this cove nonstop. And I am not able to cover water effectively fishing the right water column. So I'm switching off to this guy here and hopefully we'll land some of these for dinner. Still fish here, marking them. Like I'm in it, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm on top of it. Boom. Slab. Slab, total slab. Like I said, these out outside fish right here, this is the Mondo. Huge, big, 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 big. Big, big. That's all I gotta say, guys. Big. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Gonna go into the basket before those boaters come. Feel my spot. We gotta put her on to action then. Right. Coming. All the way from the bottom. Look at that. Slab after slab with the epic bait molds. Sick swimming bait. I love these swim baits. I love them. What's up, kid? Pretty good. Like this. Oh. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm, your dad and I keeping a few. Yeah. It's gonna be how to paddle back with it because it's gonna create a lot of drag. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna give my in-laws because they always bug me. It's like, why do you catch all those fish and I don't see any fish in the table? I was like, oh. I was like, if I if, <laughs> Right. Cast towards me. The school is right under me. Got him. Yeah, I was on a little hot streak. Yeah, I still got Sweet. All right. That's probably the last one that I'll keep. Let's catch a bigger one. Yeah. Ah, it'll be fine. I prefer to keep the smaller ones, leave the bigger ones here so that they could spawn again, have more, you know, babies. So, selective harvesting is the key. Very good. Yeah, that guy's got to smoke some uh, pickle. Yeah? Yeah. Has he caught a pickle yet? Oh, oh yeah. plenty. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. I caught some of them on top water too, believe it or not. Oh, here we go. The school is right in front of us. I say that one's right there. Look at that slab. I can't find one now. Like, what's going on? They want the chartreuse, I guess. They say it's no use unless it's chartreuse. That's what I, yeah, that's what I said. All right. So, man, you still want more? Why not? All right. You're just gonna make it hell for me to paddle back. I already can't turn left because of this whole thing's right here. <laughs> and I'm gonna be dragging this whole thing back. He's making me work. I mean, it depends on if she were staying and I, if I had more time and that boat wasn't here, I'd tie her on her. Right. Go home, man. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's actually a key for catching big fish. You, you do throw bigger stuff. You catch less. But when you catch those nice fish, yeah. Oh yeah. Big bait, big bite. Sure. Dan scared all the fish away. <laughs> they literally was like right over here. Do you make a soft plastic like for your own? Nah. You have no interest in doing that? Because this one right here is money. Interesting. Look. I'm telling you, man. Epic bait molds, swim baits, magic. They have a new one too, and I want to try it. So hopefully they'll send me a few samples. Right, guys? 
Send me some samples to my PO box now. Wow, man, this thing turned off. What's going on right now? Get it deeper. Just a little deeper. Test it out, like get down and twitch it a few times before you start reeling it. The twitching will help you to figure if you had the leaf on there or not. Yeah. But yeah, I've been getting them on a fall, like, like that. Like that? <laughs> Dude. It could hey, be. I swear I thought you. <laughs> don't let, don't let you show off, man. Your dad and I was talking about how to manage the lake. He's got to be eating a lot more fish with you guys. Yeah. So that he could have a big bass, a big pickerel. Oh, they're still here. They just shut off. Six feet of water. Boom. Dude. Hey, what's up? These swim baits will catch some bluegills too. Yes, sir. Look at that. All right, Ray, let's get out of their way. Jimmy, I'll meet you up on the other side of that. Sounds good. Okay. All right, fam, so that is the end of this episode today. The swim bait on a 116th ounce J head from Epic Bait Molds. Definitely won over the chatter bait, and the key was, you know, the fish are at the bottom. You gotta get at the bottom, you have micro chatter bait. When you hit the blade, when you pull the blade, it's gonna just go straight up in the air. And um, yeah, you just can't keep it down enough where you're striking. So anyway, happy fall fishing everyone. I'm now gonna haul this huge load of fish behind me because it's freaking heavy. Actually, I'm gonna pick it up so you guys can see it. So let me put this thing down. Show you guys the, the money. Look at this. Crazy, huh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, good stuff guys.